Hi everyone, hello everybody, welcome to our new video. Uh, today we're going to fix one error, and uh, this is gonna be my SQL error. Uh, if you're using my SQL and you ever came across of this error, just say thanks God, you're gonna get a solution today. Uh, I hope you opened already your uh, terminal if you're using Kai Linux or if you're using Ubuntu or if you're using any type of Linux and if you're using Mac you know what to open and if you're using Windows I don't know if you're good at command prompt but I'm gonna show you why we get errors like this and uh, also fixing is something very simple I wonder if you can see what is going on on the screen here I'm gonna make it a little bit big then you can see that we have the same error code I'm gonna put it in red and also make it a bit big. Uh, I guess now you can see, but if I change the color here, it would be a little bit, oh, something went wrong. I'm gonna put it like that. Uh, yellow one would work for you. I think it can work for you. You can see well. Um, uh, I think I can change the color to be red because errors are red all the time wow it gave me this okay it says error 2002 bracket hy 000 bracket semicolon can't connect to local mysql server though through socket they say va run mysql ld um, then it goes to mysql d dot socket 2 so it kind of allowed us to it says you can't connect via socket so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to go to the terminal after going to the terminal i'm gonna uh try to 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 to, to go to my sql if i get a problem then then i'm gonna get it a, a what i'm gonna show you how to fix that problem so also you might be using a browser uh, I wonder if that shows in a browser uh, let me see I wonder if it does in a browser localhost localhost mm, PHP my admin in the browser the only thing you can see is my unable to connect Firefox can't establish connection to server at localhost this site could be temporarily unavailable or too busy try again in few minutes if you are unable to load any pages check your computer's network connection if your computer or network is protected by a firewall or proxy make sure that firefox is permanent is permitted to access the web so that is a uh, what we get from the browser then i'm gonna show you what we get from the terminal so i'm gonna open the terminal the terminal should show exactly this uh what they call error code so you go here and uh, you send okay service my sql start we start what, what no not that we say my sql yeah okay this is what we get we get this uh uh this error so on firefox it's a different error it doesn't talk anything about this the what the the, the socket and stuff so we get different errors but it's the same problem uh same solution if you get in this in firefox you must also get this on your on your on your terminal so if you do that uh you get that don't worry about that we're going to find a way to to do something incredibly fine and uh, good to um to what to fix the error so the only thing you have to do is uh to do one thing run this command you're gonna fix the problem so the command you have to run the, the reason okay let me tell you the reason the reason why uh you see this error is 
your services are not started so if you're using WAMP or ZAMP or any kind of uh, 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 software which uh, runs what uh, MySQL server you must make sure your SQL server is started so the there is something in ZAMP if I'm not mistaken there's a button which says state service so you have to start those services but also if you don't want to be in this problem all the time and you forget you can go and uh, make this in Windows it's easier to make this service start automatic so you don't have to always start them so but in Kali Linux also I'll do maybe one day a video for you to show you how to do that in my in Kali Linux and it's gonna be the same solution in windows so once you do that you just know even if i forget to do that the system is gonna switch on or turn on mysql server by default so you won't have any problem with that so now when we start with this we're gonna say yes you're gonna say uh, my service in terminal you have to say service my sql start uh yes we start that okay once it's, it's started it's gonna show you that yes once it's started then it's gonna show that it's started if you have anything which has a user interface to start that please start that you're not going to see that uh same error so here you can also go to your let me let me get you something i wonder if you you can see here when we here you can uh, say local host local host uh, uh, then you say oh sorry local host forward slash php my admin Ad my admin once you're done with that and say enter once you hit enter it should start shouldn't give you this wow it's giving me the same error service mysql start i don't have to see this okay it's fine i'm gonna try to maybe i did something wrong i'm gonna say local local host there's my oh php my admin wow uh, okay we're getting that mm, problem it's okay uh, okay let's go here and we say we try to do post there on the browser still getting the same thing we say my sql my sql you can see here now you can access our sql now uh you can see uh, that uh, we have manage to access uh our database so after starting our service but now in the browser i don't know maybe because of the cookies and stuff that's why we can't see that working but uh, uh i guess it wants us to it wants us to do what it wants us to start also apache server let's say service mm, apache to start when we start that let's see okay it, uh, it's fine uh, let me try to yes you see i think it wanted us to start also apache server so when we go to my scale my php my admin also starts i can choose any username and password and i log in then everything is fine so that simply means we have to do what we have to 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 start the service that's why that's why we are facing that problem so if we stop the services we're gonna get the same problem so i'm gonna say service my sql stop i'm gonna stop them and also stop do <coughs> service apache to to stop i'm gonna stop all those two services then we're gonna say see that we have the same problem 
so after doing that i'm gonna say my sql you can see we have the same problem so now what we're gonna do we're gonna recall the commands to to start start then everything is fine here so if you say my sql then we would not have any problem sql we don't have any any problem so yeah guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe on this channel and also you can uh do what share this video with your friends and also on facebook and also on twitter we really we will really appreciate if you do that and uh if you have any other problem please leave a comment in the comment box below we're gonna answer you so don't forget the cause of this error of what i know is when mysql is not started so if it's giving you a problem to start it restart it stop restart it if it gives you a problem shut down the computer come back restart the service the mysql server when the server is started run your your queries everything's gonna be fine thanks guys see you in the next video